Alright, so I'm going to do a build video or a build tips video for my new uh, FPV version 3 plane. Now I know you guys didn't really see version 2 and uh, maybe I'll publish the um, plans for that at some point, but I think this thing is definitely worthy of version 3, so here we go. Um, it's a very, very easy plane to assemble. I think um, this is almost easier than maybe my trainer. I know it looks more complex, but it's a very easy plane to assemble. Um, so let's just go down the list here. I've made a list uh, in order of uh, that you could follow that I think is the most logical for putting this thing together the quickest. So let's go ahead and go right at it and uh, you'll see how easy it is to, to make this plane. Okay, so I'm not going to go into detail on how you print out the plans, tape them together, and cut them out. I'm going to assume that most of the people building this plane have uh, already built one of my planes before. Um, if you haven't, you can watch my How to Build a Sport Trainer video. The first couple videos show you how to print out the plans, tape them together, trim off the edges and such so that you do it right. Um, so let's just go ahead and go right into the order that I think uh, is best for cutting out this plane or putting it together. Okay, so after we've cut out all the different foam pieces for this plane, making sure to bevel the leading and trailing edges of the wings, um, the next thing you want to do is to do the control surfaces. So these are the, the quad elevons on this plane. So I find that it's best to uh, go ahead and cut out your moving control surface and use the packing tape to, uh, to make that a nice strong hinge. So do that on both sides of the top wing, both sides of the bottom wing. And this is going to make it easier for when you're uh, farther along assembling the plane to have this already done. So after doing your control surfaces of the quad elevons, and of course you can also do, you can glue the uh, two rudder pieces together and hinge those as well. Uh, the next thing that you should do is go ahead and glue together the two bottom wing halves. Okay, so that's these ones right here. And uh, hopefully you notice from the PDF plans, the bottom wing halves are basically what's left over from when you cut out the big top wing sections. Okay, so I tried to do that with one sheet of 20 by 30 Dollar Tree foam just to keep it uh, nice and simple as to how you cut out these um, pieces. And it also saves on cutting too. Okay, so after the glue has cooled and cured for these two wing halves, you're going to flip it back over and then you're going to glue the um, actual spar. I think it's a 3 8 inch uh, poplar dowel rod that I use. Of course, if you want to use carbon fiber, um, save weight, go ahead, you can do that. So go ahead and do that on the top. It's a little bit hard to see here, but that's the wing spar that uh, gets glued on this bottom wing right here. Okay, then the next thing after gluing on the wing spar is to cover the, the lower wings um, with that top sheet of foam. Okay, now it's a little bit easier to see if we look on the side here. Okay, now these are basically the big rectangles of foam and these are going to go and cover the wing spar. And when they go over that wing spar, they give it a nice uh, kind of more airfoil shape than just a flat piece of foam. It's going to add a little bit of strength and add a little bit of lift to this plane. Uh, it's very easy to do. First thing I do is lay a bead of glue on the leading edge underneath that foam and then I, I glue that down and at the same time I would have put uh, glue on to the top of that spar. So I'm gluing the leading edge and the top piece of that spar down at one point. And after that uh, glue cures, then I'm going to go ahead and glue the back edge down after that and hold that down until it cools. Okay, so the next step is to assemble your battery tray. Okay, and uh, that's what I call this area right down here. Um, if you're flying FPV with this plane with your camera equipment mounted on the nose, then you're going to be mounting your flight batteries underneath here in the bottom part of the fuselage. And so the first thing you do is construct this. So you cut out these long pieces and there's two bottom sheets of foam board. Again, there's a definite purpose for that because this bottom piece is going to be carrying all that weight of your batteries. You want to make sure that it's strong enough. So that's two pieces of uh, foam on the bottom here. So go ahead and assemble that piece or that whole battery tray. Now as you can see right here, I actually have a third support member in the center and that only goes about um, a couple inches back here. Um, I don't think that that's completely necessary and it will make it a little easier to stick your hands in here and move your batteries around if you don't have this. So as long as you do the two pieces, uh, two layers of foam on the bottom, you can go ahead and, and not put this piece in that you see here in my video. Okay, so a couple tips on this battery tray. Um, I recommend on this part of the battery tray that you cover it with packing tape. That's the bottom. Okay, so and that's so these popsicle sticks better and also on the bottom inside. So inside this battery tray, you want to cover it with packing tape, and then you put your um, Velcro on top of that, and that's going to enable the Velcro to stick better um, on the inside of the battery tray. Okay, so after you finish constructing this, you're going to go ahead and glue it onto the bottom of the, the airplane. Now, you want to make sure to use plenty of glue here, okay? So first, you can just lay a bead of glue on top of this 
this piece right here of the battery tray before you've mounted it. You know, nice big heavy bead there. Stick it onto the bottom of your plane, you know, lining it up right here with the lines that are marked on the plans. Now yours is gonna go back a little bit further on the plans because I did lengthen it compared to what you see here. And uh, after that glue is cured, I would recommend going back and, and even putting some more glue, forcing some hot glue into that joint right there on, on either side, okay? We wanna make sure that this battery tray does not come you know, unglued from the bottom of your aircraft. And if I flip my plane over here, you're gonna notice that I also have this uh, door mounted in my um, battery tray, the bottom here. And so that's optional. If you wanna put it in there, you can. And of course, if you do that, you can't glue the top of your door to the bottom of your airplane. So uh, make sure that this door can still open and close uh, you know, as you're mounting this battery tray. Thin strips that you might have noticed on the plan. And these give the nose of the plane a little extra um, structural integrity since you're gonna have the weight of your camera up here. Now if you're gonna be having a really big camera, you might wanna make these a little larger or you might wanna make the gussets right here of the bottom um, battery tray stick out a little farther or maybe you could even use a barbecue skewer to come from the bottom here and go up underneath the nose, okay? Again, I was trying to keep this plane as lightweight as I could, so you know I felt that I only needed to make these about three, three quarter inches tall. But that's the next step, you glue these on here, they sort of curve around a little bit to follow the taper of the nose. And after the glue cures on those, the next step is to glue on the uh, upper wing supports. So we've got a center, and then we've got these two side ones right here on either side. So the center is pretty straightforward. You want to glue it on so that it's uh, sticking up uh, perpendicular. And you might need to cut a little bit of a relief out for the center one as it goes over the wing spar. So that goes right in the middle. Now these ones right here, there are lines marked on the plans that, that are um, on the top of the bottom wing. And that shows you right where the bottom of this outer upper wing support is supposed to be glued. Now you will have to cut a relief out of this top sheet of foam so that these things can go all the way down because you want these wing um, outer upper wing supports to actually be resting on the lower piece of foam, not on the upper piece, okay? If you put them on this top piece right here, then you're gonna give your plane a lot more dihedral or bend or V-shape in the wings than it actually needs. So once we've glued these three wing supports on, we've got the center and both sides here and here. Okay, now comes the time to glue on the top uh, wing here. So before we do that, of course, you're gonna have to glue these two wing halves together. Okay, so you run a, a bead of hot glue all the way down those two wings, stick them together, and you can even put a little bit of an initial bend or dihedral in that, so that the, when the glue cures, these wings will have a little bit of an up uh, V bend like that. If not, don't worry, it's not that um, much of a, an angle here, so you can actually, you know, basically force that glue to flex a little once you glue the top wing on. But uh, once you've glued these two wing, upper wing halves together, then you go ahead and glue this top wing on. You lay a nice thick bead of glue on top of uh, the center wing support, and then of course on top of these outer wing supports as well. And once you glue those on your on there, and you're letting the glue um, cure, go ahead and add a little extra on the the front part of this support, and the um, and the front and back of these outer supports as well as go, go ahead and go in the back here and just take your hot glue and sort of wrap around all these surfaces, okay? Because the part where the foam board that has the paper on either side where it fails is gonna be right on the edges, okay? So if you can make sure that these edges never start to peel up, your plane will stay together a lot better. Okay, so it's starting to look like an airplane now after you've got the top wing glued on with the, uh, the rear supports. Now it's time to glue in this um, support right here. This would be the front center support. So uh, it might be a little tricky to do because the, uh, the wing is already on there, but you can kind of flex this apart a little bit. So you're gonna take this one triangle piece and lay glue on the top and the bottom of it and go ahead and slide it underneath the wing. And you wanna make it go right into the back, flush with the back of this hole right here, which should also be about flush with the leading edge of the, um, the wing right here. And of course, we just wanna make sure that the prop is uh, not gonna be hitting that wing support that you're gluing in. So after you've got your upper wing completely secured and glued down, the next thing you do is to cut out those three motor mount pieces. And you can see them right here. I've got them all stacked together. You wanna to make this nice and strong, okay? Because uh, this is a nice size motor up here and this is where the whole plane is getting pushed by. So you don't want it to be flimsy. So that's why I've got, th um, in the instructions, I've got you to cut out three of these triangle pieces glue them all together, then they get glued down right here, and it might help to have already mounted your motor on this motor mount piece here, so that um, when you glue these uh, pieces down, you know that your propeller is gonna be swinging right in the middle of this uh, relief hole that we've cut out, okay? So, 
Make sure that you glue this down with a lot of uh, glue right there, so it's got plenty of glue to make it nice and strong. And something that's not in the plans but that I did add is a couple little air deflectors here. Okay, if you want the air to, to uh, more smoothly go around your motor, you can cut out a couple little pieces right here, custom make them to make it more streamlined. And after you do that, you also want to take some barbecue skewers, cut out a couple extra supports on either side of this motor because you don't want it flexing at all. So after you've got your motor all mounted up, the last step is to uh, put your rudder on. And of course, as we talked about earlier, you've already got your, um, your rudder piece uh, stuck on and hinged here like this. And uh, this rudder piece right here is going to go so it's right up flush with the hole in here. Okay? And you just want to make sure that your propeller is not going to hit it. And of course this notch right here is cut out so that uh, your prop adapter can be uh, loosened and tightened. And you can take your propeller on and off once the motor is mounted on the plane. Now whether or not you're going to have FPV gear mounted up here is up to you. Uh, depends on how you fly. If you don't have FPV gear, this is where you're going to put your main flight battery. So you would uh, you know, put that right here. And if you want to, you can go ahead and cut out um, a nice streamlined piece of plastic. And I used a 2 liter bottle because it's already curved. And then I made it so that it would Velcro right on the nose here. And uh, it makes it a little bit more streamlined if you've got a big square chunky battery in there. Uh, there's also a hole right here cut out so I can get uh, cooling air coming through to cool off the battery. And then that air goes back and cools off my ESC. And uh, that basically completes the plane in terms of uh, gluing the airframe together. Um, and of course, since you're going to be mounting your batteries below the inside the fuselage here, you want to cut out a relief hole so you can stick your, your ESC battery wires down in like that. Um, the only other thing I want to talk about is the linkage right here. Now, hopefully you can see this well. Um, this plane uses quad elevon, so I've got two servos running four control surfaces. And the way I've done that is I've linked the upper and lower control surfaces together. Now, you want to make sure that when you're building this linkage that you do it how I've got here. Now take a look and note that uh, this linkage is sticking up from the control surface as well as this one is on the top. Okay, You want to make sure that you do that. If you have it set up so that the bottom one is sticking out from the top of this control surface and the top one is sticking down below, when you try and move your control surfaces together, um, you're, you're kind of going to get them to bind up a little bit. And also when this one goes up, this lower control surface is going to go up and down at a different rate than this. Now, what that's going to do is cause excess drag that you don't want and make your plane not quite as controllable as it could be. So just make sure that you build your linkage like this and uh, keep everything nice and square and true. And uh, because I've cut out a little relief hole here for my linkage uh, push rod, I went ahead and strengthened it up with an extra popsicle stick on top. Okay? So that's... Uh, in a nutshell, that's how you build this plane. It's very simple to build and very fun to fly. I hope you guys have a lot of fun with it.